It's a little bit, you've got your hands too far back. Good, into the corner. Oh, yeah, if you're gonna do those, make sure it's a definite change, okay? When you ask for your flying changes, because he looks a little bit new to them, how you use your leg gets a different response. So what I mean by that, when you did it, you were a little bit show jumpery. <laughs> so you swung your body. Right, when you do it from your knee down, because he's obviously a bit green, if you think about it, you want his hind legs to like bang like that. So when you're first training them, a short, sharp with your spare, so his hind leg jumps through. Because I mean, loads easier if you can do that. <laughs> Just be a little bit more active and short and sharp with the leg aid, okay? Well done. And try not to tip your body, because if you do that, they go from the wrong leg. Right, okay. Switch yours on, Lisa, before you start. Remember, he's younger. He doesn't have the gears. It's not the end of the world if he does break the trot. And watch your language. <laughs> Stay in the rhythm. Hands still. We want him focused on the fence. Keep your leg. Keep your leg. Keep your leg. Good. Balance in. So sit up, but put your leg on at the same time. Good. Now again now, balance him off his shoulders. But close your leg on to push his hind leg. Think about where you're going afterwards. Oh, God. So not the best of turns. Remember I say you've always got to think, could you jump a fence afterwards? And it, I mean, it was all right, but you were again a bit like wagging him around the corner. <laughs> so when you're training, ride him straighter, slow him down, and then do it. And if you do a flying change, like I was saying to Claire, how you use your leg, you'd use your body too much. Yeah. So you swung him onto the, you got it, so I'm not gonna knock it, but the canter you then had was whoa, too unbalanced to come into a fence. And when you're training, you've always got to think, could I jump if there was another fence there? Yeah. All right, other than that, it's good. And that one's your bogey fence. Yeah. <laughs> so change your line slightly, change something. If you're, you know, with a young horse that's not yet got gears in his canter, if you're always arriving on the same stride, either change the rhythm a little bit, change the line you come on, in on, so you've got bags of room, so you could even come inside, something like that. Just very slightly change something, so hopefully you meet the fence on a slightly better stride. Good, right, okay, we're gonna put another jump up. <laughs>